hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to teach you how to design thumbnails on canva on canva you can pretty much create a presentation slide show video cards youtube thumbnails logo youtube intros youtube channel art those are the three we're going to focus on but for this lesson we're going to be talking about youtube thumbnails so i'm going to teach you how to design a youtube thumbnail okay now the first thing you do is you come to the website canva.com once you get to canva.com it takes you to the front page this is the opening page once you get to the home page there's a whole lot of templates you can use when you come to the template here they have social media personal business marketing education trending but the one we'll be interested on today for this lesson would be for youtube so we're going to come down here we'll see we're going to come down here and create a design on the recommended tab you'll see the youtube thumbnail you click on it and it takes you straight to the design platform now when you get here all you need to do is get familiar with this design part everything here are all everything here are all templates I'm opening a blank page to use everything you see here are tem templates so when you scroll down you see the different types of templates music youtube te thumbnail food youtube thumbnail and so on okay now we're going to design a thumbnail for a video i already have thumbnails that i've designed but you know as a youtuber that's coming up everything has to be different videos that you've listened to keep saying that you should design a good thumbnail so we're going to look at how to design a good thumbnail on the left hand side you see templates uploads photos elements elements text videos background and folder we're going to go through all this as we proceed in the as we proceed in the lecture now the first thing is the templates the second is if you're looking to import any material from your system this is where you do the import for images you click on image and you click on upload an image or video it takes you opens up this where you pick up what file you want and if you're uploading videos this is where you would do it you could as well simply just drag and drop any image that you want and it will get uploaded now we're going to move on to photos photos are actually stock photos that they already have on canva that already exist on canva so if you're interested in using this all you need to do is simply click on it and it appears here where you can easily do your use as your thumbnail material okay now we're not going to use this when you scroll down you see different photos that you can actually use for your thumbnail now I'm going to do a thumbnail that says how to design thumbnails for I'm going to do a thumbnail that says how to design thumbnails for YouTube okay so I'm looking for a stock photo that I'm going to use a stock image that I'm going to use completely free okay So let's pick on this if we pick on this see it appears here so if you move it around you could actually use it as totally as your background you resize it and it fits your until it fits your background now I've gotten this to fit my background the next thing I need to do is to make it a little bit interesting 
okay so the next thing to make it a little bit interesting i come straight to text and i add a text box okay on this text box i double click and i type complete let me do that in capital letters all right complete I'm gonna type complete I want to type complete tutorial on YouTube thumbnail but I'm gonna do complete first so that I can design the complete before I continue so I will move it here I'm gonna give it a little bit of background <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a little bit of I'm gonna give it a little bit of background so that it looks a bit nice. So I'm not gonna pick on background. Instead, I'll come to elements. Once I get to elements, I'll pick a shape. I'm gonna use the square. You can use the rectangle, anyone. Now I'm gonna move it this way. I'm trying to create a background border for it. That way, I move this up. And I have that now I'll go ahead to change the color of the background to suit my color scheme when I come here I'll pick blue I can pick any color that I want okay let's stick with red I'll pick red I click out here and I have this it looks nice now I'm gonna change the font to suit me as well I usually like Oswald okay I like Oswald so I pick Oswald and I make it bold now I'm gonna stretch it a bit so that it almost touches the edges I increase the font a bit to 65 let me see how that happens okay 65 is a bit good is good so I take it up and it matches so I have this now the next thing I would do is to select both and group it so when I'm moving it it becomes one package to move okay now I'm going to repeat the same thing again so that I repeat my statements all through instead of me coming back here to say text and go all the way doing what I've done before I simply pick this I right click on on it and I say copy okay then I click anywhere here and I say paste so it gives me a duplicate of it all right so when it gives me a duplicate of it I have to ungroup it remember I grouped it initially so I ungroup I double click on it and then I change the I change it right up to tutorial tutorial okay now I've got in tutorial I can go ahead again select both of them and group it so I have complete tutorial okay remember I have already copied so all I need to do is paste I paste it I bring it down again complete tutorial on now I've done I've typed on so I'm gonna shorten this one because it's just few letters I'm trying to make it nice look nice so I have complete tutorial on how on how to create thumbnail okay Now I click again and I say paste. I bring this down. I double click. I can write YouTube thumbnail. All right. Now I've done, I've written that, but don't bother about how it looks. We're going to adjust it to look better. So I can leave it this way. 
right it looks a lot better this way now the next thing is to arrange it so it looks pretty good first thing first i'm going to look at the tutorial i will ungroup that because i want to change the color of the background all right so let's move this a bit so that i'll be able to select the background once i select the background i'll change the color i'm going to use let's use this okay I change the color to that now this i'm going to ungroup first of all let me get this out of the way i group it again i select all and group it again then for this i'm going to ungroup then move this a bit so that i can see the background so i can select the background now i'm going to use something off a bit so i'm going to use black okay just to train some colors and make it attractive then i reposition this and then i select both and then i group it okay now i've done complete tutorial on youtube thumbnail now for youtube thumbnail i'm going to leave it as red uh, i mean i'm going to leave it as red so what happens next is i'll have to select this okay it's grouped already so i'll move this the next thing now is to position my right up so that it looks interesting and a lot better than just leaving it there so i will take this uh, you see the arrow there that says move i'll slightly just turn it around just to add some little bit of finesse to it then i take the tutorial i'll move it this way you can see there's some lines that showed up on the screen those lines are showing you the if they are straight if they are aligned with each other so right here it is aligned with each other so i leave it i drop it i'm not going to pick on the next one and then i could actually put it here you see the lines come out again and it's aligned so i'll put it there and i'll say complete tutorial on youtube thumbnail okay now this is i said complete tutorial on youtube thumbnail so if i like this design this way i'll leave it this way or i could just come and make it in another format where it looks a lot maybe cleaner or better i can add it this way and then i come here i pick this and i bring it down this way notice the lines show up again so it is right in the center i drop it it gives me complete tutorial on youtube thumbnail and i'm good to go now this is the most simplest way to design a thumbnail for youtube videos i could as well add some other things here and make it look better but i don't want it to be too busy you can move this image slightly a bit so that will have space on the right what i did was to double click on the image so i can move it either up or down or sideways okay so I move it this way I could move it this way and I'm fine with it this way so I click out and I have this so this is it so once you are done this way I'm teaching you this because this is totally free completely free once you're done this way the next thing you do is you come up here and you click on this and select download okay once you select download, it asks you for the different formats of download that you want to select. I suggest that you pick a PNG. PNG gives you a clearer image, clearer picture. If it is a JPEG, it's, a less, it's less quality than PNG. We're not doing a video or a GIF, so we're going to pick PNG. And then we hit the download button. Once you hit the download button, it prepares your design and it starts downloading immediately. It asks you for where to save. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna save right in here. I'll title it Complete Design. Okay, I hit the save. 
and then it downloads immediately it downloads immediately now I'll click away so my thumbnail is ready now you can now export it to YouTube to use this is my thumbnail is ready to be used thumbnail is ready to be used I've completed it and the design has been downloaded so thank you very much for tuning in in my next video we're going to talk about how to design the YouTube channel art I'll show you how to do that and how to also export it straight to YouTube Thank you very much don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and also hit the notification bell so that you get reminders as i make new videos thank you bye